And I hope at Christmas there we saw you celebrating 10 years of Miranda, which must, I mean, you know, just on a personal level, you must, that must give you a kind of a warm feeling that kind of like, I did this thing. Yeah, it was sort of a mixture of initially really embarrassing thinking, am I allowed to celebrate? You know, I was sort of hosting a show <laughs> celebrating myself. So there was that initial sort of British, oh, this is a bit awkward. And then I just thought, do you know, fuck it. The show did really well and I'm allowed to celebrate it and be proud of it. And so to celebrate that and then what the show's meant to people, that was the biggest surprise. Because I guess at the time you were just busy writing jokes, you just wanted to be funny. But actually, in hindsight, that show had a sort of message. Yeah, I, th I think suddenly realising, I mean, after the sort of second series, when I started getting letters from particularly teenage girls or women in their 20s sort of saying, are you really helping me that? with my anxiety or having me feel that I can accept myself. You know, if Miranda can accept herself, then I can. You know, I'm allowed to be tall, I'm allowed to eat, I'm allowed to be big and loud and celebrating female friendship and not needing romance and all that sort of self-acceptance and self-compassion. And I started thinking, wow, I'm writing something much more with a heavier subtext than I thought. And obviously, I think subconsciously, there was obviously a lot more going into the writing than I realised. So it was, it was kind of cool to to acknowledge that.